Good morning guys, happy Thursday. Welcome to today's vlog. Um, <laughs> I just dropped Emmett off at school and Collins and I need to run into Target super fast. Like, super fast. I would have did a drive up order, but honestly my Target takes forever for drive up orders. Um, like they take the full two hours, sometimes even longer for like one thing so I'm just gonna run in we need like nighttime diapers for Collins because she is peeing through her diaper several times in the middle of the night um and I bought the Target brand because they didn't have I'm hoping that they've restocked since I was here and bought the Target brand nighttime diapers but they did not work um so I'm hoping that they have a Huggies overnight in size four because she's a size three, but I size up in nighttime diapers. So um, we're gonna run in really quick and try and grab some diapers. And then I also needed something else. I'm gonna look and see if they have um, the right Nespresso pods because I bought the wrong ones when we were here for our Nespresso maker. So I need to look and see if they have those. And I think that's it. But in and out, super quick. That's what we're doing. All right, guys, we are back home from the store. It was a super quick trip. Um, we got home, I changed Collins. She's over in her little stand-up thing. She loves it so much, and she's just a chatty Kathy. Um, she basically like napped the entire time, so she's wide awake, loving life now. As you saw, I just moved my Starbucks. I actually stopped and grabbed Starbucks this morning because we were out really early, um, and it completely melted in the car, and my cup was just filled with sweat. That's the one thing I hate about um, how we reuse the Starbucks cups is they just sweat so bad. But I'm so excited because as you saw, I just moved it into my brand new Imperial Pint from Brewmate. I have been loving this thing. Um, I have worked with Brewmate so many times on my channel. I've shared their Hopsilator Slim, their Toddies, um, so many amazing products. And they just sent me over a ton of new stuff from their beautiful new design, the Gold Leopard. Look how freaking stunning this is. So pretty. Um, so like I said, this is the Imperial Pint. And this is right up my alley because you guys know I drink iced coffee every single day and now I have a cup that is going to keep my iced coffee ice cold until the very last drop because most of the time I make it in the morning and before I can even drink it just like this morning it's melted and the cups are sweating the triple layer stainless steel construction on these cups all of their products keep them from sweating and it keeps your drinks ice cold or warm if you like to drink your coffee warm like this would be perfect for that too um until the very last drop so i am so so excited and this print like could you even do anything prettier so pretty the best part about this besides the fact that it's going to be cold until i finish it is that these lids are amazing like every mom needs these lids i have sat on that couch and i like to put my coffee on the um arm ledge Emmett is just wild I mean he's all over the place and he has knocked my coffee off of the couch so many times you'd think I would learn my lesson but it's been all over the white walls the curtains the rug everywhere that is not going to happen anymore with my cup because this has a lid that has Bev lock technology and guys it is amazing I you saw whenever I put it in um the cup so it locks literally does not spill it is a leak proof this is like a toddler proof mom cup and everyone needs it so it actually locks into place so your drink does not spill and then it also has a mag magnet that holds um the little tab back so when you drink it it doesn't fall on you but so good i love this so much and i do want to share with you guys a couple of their other products that they sent just to show you like they literally have something for 
everything and everyone. So many amazing colors, but this is their new gold leopard um, design that they just dropped. So I wanna show it to you really quickly. All right, we'll start down here. This is their wine insulator. Guys, this fits a full bottle of wine inside of it. And then you also get like a funnel so that you can pour the wine in it. But how convenient. This is so smart. If you're taking wine with you somewhere and it's like super hot, this is going to keep it nice and cold. Even if you open a bottle of wine, you need to store it in your fridge. We would love this because um, our wine doesn't fit with a cork in it. So this would be amazing. Then this one is the Hopsulator Trio. This one is really cool. David actually has this one in black. But this one's really cool because it fits your 12 ounce cans and 16 ounce cans. So it comes with an attachment so that you can use both. Um, it also works as a cup that can hold up to 16 fluid ounces as well. So there's like all the different things it can do. And it does come with that Bevlock technology lid. So I have like a um, 12 ounce can here and I'll show you. So you would just put this in bottom and then your little um, topper goes on. And then you can do your 12 ounce cans in that. How cool is that? So they have that one. This is the Hopsulator Slim. I've showed you guys this so many times. I'm excited to have a new print. This one um, holds your 12 ounce Slim cans. So I have a LaCroix here. This is perfect for LaCroix, Trulies, High Noons, all of your Slim cans. And then we have these cute little wine cups. So these are called Uncorked. They are so cute. You could put wine in them or anything really. It doesn't have to be wine. Once again, the Bevlock technology lid, which is just amazing. And then of course I have the Imperial Pint, which is what I am using. And this one holds 20 fluid ounces. Um, this is also really good for like your beer or cocktails. You can actually get an attachment and this can be um, something that you can make cocktails with. Like you can shake up your cocktails in it. So this is really cool as well. Obviously mom life, I use it for my coffee, but you could totally use it for beer or wine, mixed drinks, literally anything at all. I know I've shared the toddies with you guys before, but I do quickly want to show you just because that is another product that I love. Um, this is a toddy in their Onyx Leopard, and I love these little toddies too. They're so cute. I actually have XL size toddies that are like 32 ounces, and I need it so bad. I think that's what I'm going to get on and order this time. Um, it's an awesome time to stock up because I do have a discount code that is only available for 48 hours. So it's only live for 48 hours. I'll have it down in the description box, but definitely take advantage of it. Stock up for Christmas, for your friends and family, or just for you, um, because that discount code is amazing and it only lasts for a couple of days. Oh, I just set this down and it reminded me. This also has like the non-slip grip um, stuff on the bottom of these cups so that they don't fall. I can just like throw it backwards because I know my stuff's not gonna fall out of it, but it has like the grift bottoms on all of their products. So that's another amazing feature. But yes, I love it so much. And a huge thanks to Brewmate for sponsoring today's video. I love working with them because I genuinely love their products so much. And I know you guys will too. So be sure to check that out in the description box. And now that I have my coffee cold and I know it's not gonna melt on me, Say we can do something fun. What do you want to do, Collie? Hi. Hi. <gasps> yeah. Are you so big? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Mommy just had a flashback. I have a video of Emmett and I just like this. We were sitting just like this, and he was little baby like you. Yes, he was. Can you say good morning? Can you say good morning? Can you say welcome to today's vlog? You're awfully cute. I think she's. Um, teething, but if we focus, are we going to focus? 
You're gonna come be in the shot with mom? We'll move you a little closer. <gasps> a little closer. So, I guess I could just scoot this back a little bit. Um. Okay, so I wanna quickly just show you what I picked up at Target. I'm sitting on the floor with Collie J. Um, I grabbed size four little movers, regular diapers. They did not have any of the overnight diapers. Um, they haven't restocked them in like over a week. So I just grabbed size four. I'm gonna try this out and see if it works. I usually get wood size up, so that's what we would use. But we love Huggies and I actually need to go get the receipt and scan it in because you guys know my fetch app and the huggies and the target all together i'm just i'm obsessed with it um so i need to scan in my receipt and see how many points they have an amazing huggies rewards program on the fetch app i will i always have my referral link code in the description box because i love it so much use it all the time i don't know why i did this but i got Emmett this little five dollar spider-man toy because he is recently obsessed with spider-man and he's been begging to go to the store and get this so here i am i did it i got him spider-man you see that you want to play with it because bubby won't let you play with it when he gets home no he's not gonna let you um and then the only other things that i grabbed were two more things of water wipes collins is very sensitive she has to use water wipes and um i do like an automated order through amazon and that just renewed today like i had to push it up early and um so we're not gonna get them for a little bit so i needed some backups where's your toys go here you go I guess. so i went ahead and picked up some of those and then i grabbed two more of the sweet potato um baby food from beech nut collins really loves sweet potatoes she's been eating baby food for a couple weeks now um and she really really likes sweet potatoes so i grabbed a couple more of those i was like tossing around the idea of making collins her food this time around emmett ate this beech nut stuff and i know like it's you know so many people say different things about baby food but emmett ate the beech nut baby food and he is alive and doing well and extreme flourishing in life so um i think she will be okay it will you be okay she loves it so much loves food in general i'm gonna scoot this closer so we can chit chat because oh my gosh speaking of flourishing in life we're actually not we're actually not flourishing over here we are literally on the struggle bus guys um i'm keeping an eye on the time because i do need to go pick up emmett soon you want mommy's cup, don't you? You can't have it. All right, I just came up to Collie's room to chat with you guys super quick because I need to go pick up Emmett. Um, and they're like cutting stones downstairs. We're having a landscaping done in the back and they're adding on a patio and it's they're like cutting the stones for right now. So it's like insane, insanely loud. I'm nursing Collins and... I wanted to give you guys an update because I literally am struggling. I am like so over this and I just want, I just, I quit because we cannot win. Um, please let me know if you are dealing with the same thing, but we cannot kick the sickness. I mean, it is one thing after another and I am literally just so over it. Um, so you guys know we had RSV um, in the beginning of July and then Colin's got an ear infection with that. Emmett was sick with RSV. Shortly after that, we were finally like feeling better. They had like a week where they were feeling good. Um, well, where Colin's was feeling good. Emmett's been like fine since, but Colin's just cannot, Colin's and I both, we just cannot get better. <laughs> um, so Collins had RSV, ear infection, had a week where she felt better, and then she started like fussing and, and acting like she was sick again. So we actually took her into urgent care, got her ears checked, everything turned out fine. Um, she was due to go to the doctor, and so I had the doctor look in her ears and like 
check her because she was congested and fussy i also had like the nasal congestion the snot like we got i think we had like head colds again maybe rsp but it was super mild because we had just had it um actually in my previous vlog is when we were sick with that and collins had another ear infection so she was put on antibiotic for that ear infection and then seven days into the antibiotic as a 10 day antibiotic she spiked a really high fever it was like 102.3 and we were giving her tylenol around the clock and like we were barely getting it down and so david was like maybe she's just resistant to the antibiotic and she needs a different one so we took her back in to the pediatrician she checked her ear she was like her ear looks good like it's not her ear she looked in the back of her throat and she was like yeah i'm pretty sure she has hand foot and mouth and i was like are you kidding me um which is funny because like earlier that morning so at 8 a.m the day before this was on a uh a wednesday so emmett had went to school on tuesday and when i picked him up they said that he didn't need a snack and i asked him why he didn't need a snack and he says his teeth hurt and i was like oh that's really weird and so we made him a, a, a dentist appointment my one of my best friends is a dentist and we got him in at 8 a.m the next morning um it was actually like his first time at the de dentist we had been meaning to make him an appointment we just hadn't done it um and she actually checked his mouth for like sores because she was like, maybe it's hand, foot, mouth. It's going around like crazy right now. He looked totally fine. His teeth, she was like, his teeth look amazing. Like he, I don't see anything at all. I don't see any sores, like nothing. And so Emmett was with us at her pediatrician appointment that was just like right after that. And we were telling her and she was like, it sounds like it might be hand, foot, and mouth. And so she looked in Collins's and she was like, yeah, she has sores. Like it's, she has hand, foot, and mouth. And I was like, could it be strep though? Like she has no rashes anywhere else. Like, is it really hand, foot, and mouth? And she's like, no, they look different. Like it's, it's hand, foot, and mouth. Surely later that night she broke out in a rash and it was full on hand, foot, and mouth. So we were just getting over the ear infection, got hand, foot, and mouth. And then we had had pictures. I'm not sure if I got hand, foot, and mouth or if I just got ate alive by mosquitoes, which is likely because I do, um, they do love me. Um, but I literally were covered, was covered in spots all over my arms that were itching like crazy. And you say, hi. <laughs> and so, um... She finally started feeling better from that this weekend, and that was, like, gone. Sunday night, I started feeling like death. Literally, like, fever. Um, ooh, a high fever. I got up to 102.3. Body aches that were just insane. Um, chills, sore throat, headache, all the Rona symptoms. Wayne got a rapid test. It was negative, which I anticipated it to be negative because we've been wearing masks with all of the sickness going around. Um, you know, not just Rona, but everything. RSV, literally all the kids are sick with RSV, um, hand, foot, mouth, strep, like all of the things. So I went and got a rapid test because David had boards at 8 a.m. the following morning. And we kind of needed to know like if I had <laughs> Rona and it was negative. So come to find out i have strep throat i'm currently on antibiotics for that and david took his boards and he passed so he's officially a certified nurse practitioner um we're so so happy for him but yeah so i have strep throat collins like i said she was finally feeling better like doing great and then last night she freaking spiked a fever again so now i'm like great does she have strep did i give her strep or does she have another round of hand foot and mouth because it can live on surfaces and like if I missed cleaning something like did she get it again and so I'm kind of like playing out today to see how it's gonna go like what she's gonna do and I just feel like we cannot kick this sickness and she hasn't been anywhere like she's catching this stuff literally from just going to the doctor's office to get looked at because she's sick and she's catching more things because she's not going anywhere. Like if we go to the store, I wear Collins in the carrier. And um, like I said, I wear a mask. David wears mask and we are sanitized. We wash our hands, like all of the things. And we're not like going out a ton. Hi, Dizzy. 
<sighs> Anyways, yeah, we cannot get better. We're constantly sick. I need to stop rambling because I need to go pick Emmett up, but like literally I'm on the struggle bus. I feel like I can't get anything done because I'm constantly either taking care of sick kids or I feel like crap too. Um, and it's just been awful. So I'm hoping after this round that we can just get back to normal and start freaking sleep training because my daughter does not sleep at all. Literally she does not sleep no she was sleeping through the night i can't even tell you the last time she slept through the night probably when i made that video was the last time she slept through the night two and a half months ago so yeah all right we're gonna get going we're gonna go pick up bub from school um oh sissy sissy and then we will check back in with you guys we picked emmett up he's back there say hi hi <laughs> Um, I'm in the line to get wasabi because I'm starving. So I did an online order and I am picking it up now. We're home. I just inhaled my food so fast um, so that I could mom and it hurt because it was so hot and my throat, obviously I have strep throat. It did not feel good on my throat. And it got his Spider-Man toy. Yay! He's loving life with that. Um, it's almost one o'clock, so I'm gonna try and get him to eat something. He's been like refusing food. Emmett, are you hungry? No. Okay, not hungry. Um, but he's gonna lay down for a nap soon. I think the guys are. My kitchen counter is a disaster. But they. I think they're maybe on lunch break, but the patio looks so good. I'll turn the camera around and try and show you without going outside. Yeah, you can't really see. I'll walk out here really fast and show you, but it's very loud. This is what it looks like. So it goes all the way around here. really good we have berms at it we're gonna get way more trees these just came in super early so we'll have trees and little plants um, we're gonna put trees all along the back and then we have another berm over here that we're gonna have trees on um, get over there. what sissy get over there wow sissy did she moved didn't she Sissy moved all the way over here, didn't she? Hi, girlfriend. Oh, hey, it's Spidey. Yeah, we saw Spidey. Did you pick out your snack? Yeah. What do you want? Uh, ice cream. Uh, we don't have ice cream. Why? Um, we just don't have it. You have to eat real food. Uh, a cookie. A cookie? We don't have cookies. Okay. How about chicken? No. Uh, sausage. No. Waffle. Mm. You want a waffle and syrup? Okay. Did you so show Sissy your Spidey? Whoa. Yeah, you're so nice for letting her play with Spidey. It's my Spidey. It's my Spidey. I'm not sure if you guys could hear me when I was outside because the wind is a little rambunctious. But outside looks really good. We're going to have berms and trees and that patio extension. Eventually we will have a deck coming off of the pool. Um, and it's going to be really nice. Are these Emmett's? Yeah. I'm making him waffles right now because that's what he says he wants. So, I'm gonna make him those. He was so cute in the car. I told him that I got him a Spider-Man um, when we were on our way home from school. And he said, Mom, you're awesome. I was like, I'm awesome. He said, yeah, you're awesome. I was like, you're awesome, Emmett. He goes, no, I'm a big boy. <laughs> but he loves his Spider-Man. Did you give Sissy, did you get Sissy her book? 
Yeah. That's so nice. I know. Play my You're flight. awesome. But I'm not playing my flight. This is the one to play that toy. Yeah, Sissy so wants to play with that toy. Um, okay. Here it goes. Be careful. <laughs> there. Now we'll walk it and have it. There. Bubby get you a toy? Mm. Okay. No, I bought this. I, I didn't have this. That's Sissy's. Okay. It's her dirty clothes. Can you go take it to the laundry room? Yeah, okay. Thank you. You, you smell like you, you left mommy a surprise. <gasps> Did you? I got twice too. Yeah. Only Sissy left me a surprise in her diaper. Emma, <laughs> say hi. Hi. This is Collins' first time on the swing. What do you think, sis? Kali, you gonna go back to sleep? Emmett, is Spidey swinging with you? Mm -hmm. Hi, Sissy. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> oh, it is much later. We just went outside and played for a little bit. Hi, Sissy. Um, Collins. <laughs> Okay, as much as I want to lay down on the floor, Collins is not having it. So, um, anyways, we just went outside and we were swinging. Collins swing on her little swing for the very first time. And you liked it, didn't you? Uh, David and Emmett just ran up to the gas station because I really want a drink. I am literally so tired. I'm just exhausted. Um, I don't feel good. Like, my throat is killing me and then like we didn't sleep very much last night at all Collins and I not David because he's working so um he wasn't here but I'm exhausted so he ran up to the gas station he's getting me something to drink and a little snack and then we're going to have dinner when he gets home so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here um because we're not really gonna do much of anything else for the rest of the night besides hang out and then we'll have baths and bedtime. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also go follow me over on Instagram. I have been posting the cutest little reels of Collins and they are like blowing up. One of them is at like 330,000 views right now. Um, but I have been posting a lot over there. And then, I also started um, a little email sign up for my YouTube channel. So I am eventually, I'm not doing it like right this moment, but eventually I plan to um, get a website up and then I will send out like weekly emails just like recapping Instagram um, posts and my YouTube videos. Pretty much just a way to get all of the content that I'm posting out to my viewers because I know YouTube has not been sending notifications when videos go live. Um, so a lot of people are missing out on like some of their, um, con like some YouTubers contents that they watch. They don't, they miss out on it because they don't get notified when they post. And then I know some of you guys do not have Instagram. So this would be a way to like see the pictures that I post and like all of that. So if you're interested in signing up, you guys can go ahead and get your email on that list. And that way I have it. And whenever I do start pushing out those emails and get that website and stuff live, you guys will be notified. Um, you, when you sign up for the email, make sure you go into your email and you confirm it. A lot of times it will either go to like junk or spam. Um, so just make sure that as soon as you put your email in and you submit it, that you go into your email, you check your junk or spam for confirmation, and then you confirm your email. Because if you are unconfirmed, then you will not get any emails regardless if you signed up or not. So 
yeah, that's something fun that I plan on bringing and incorporating. I have so many projects though that like, that is something I want to accomplish soon. Um, I love how I have like a fire truck and a school bus in the background. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, and we will see you in our next one. Thanks for watching.